Hi, Abjad, how are you? Thank you so much for sending in this essay for correction. You're absolutely right. It's a really tough one. Really, really hard. Uh, so it's called, you can't quite see the title. Many governments in the world spend large amounts of money on art, uh, which helps to develop quality in people's lives. Here we go. Uh, however, governments should spend money on other things. Do you agree or disagree? So the best way almost to do this is to think about both parts of the question. When you're planning, uh, so you've got these two issues here almost. Spending money on art, but then also this suggestion that spending on art develops quality. So if you had more words, you'd probably be questioning that. You know, how do you know that? Um, but there's one thing about, okay, should they spend money on art? Or should they spend money on other things? So it's kind of like a two-part question, isn't it? Over the past few decades, people around the world have been diligently investing their time in various forms of art, such as, such as drama, dancing, and even singing, in order to have a fulfilling life. This essay, along with an example, will support my opinion on government's interest in investing monetarily in different art forms to strike a balance, okay, uh, rather than just solely investing in education or health services, uh, investing in core education. Um, I like how you've done your intro, you're showing a lot of style, but you must address this side of the question. This side is connected to this. Yeah, let's just put it in red or something so you can see the the link I'm making there okay so you have to acknowledge that side of the question you can't ignore it okay um, this is lovely um, various forms of art such as now it's almost the fact that they are it's not the fact that they're doing it it's almost the fact they're doing it and watching it um, such as um, uh, Oh, never mind. But uh, do you see what I mean? But let's not worry for now. <laughs> we don't have enough words, do we? Uh, so it's not the fact that you do a play on your own. It's the fact that you watch it and the government is spending money on it. Um, on one hand, there is ample evidence uh, that people involved in various art forms have been living a happy and complete life. Okay, now here we need to expand this. People involved in... Uh, watching various art form, watching various art forms on stage or visiting uh, extraordinary oh, extraordinary art exhibitions so for me, it's the point that the government are putting on this play or the government are getting this lovely exhibition of a famous artist and then you have the chance to watch it. Yeah, It's not the fact that you're just doing it on your own. Um, so in watching various art forms on stage or visiting have been, um, have been living a... Yeah, happy and complete life. Okay, you could turn this around and you could say uh, that watching that watching art forms contributes to a happier life. You you could change it around so that watching art forms contributes to a more fulfilled cultural life. Yeah. Um, I think if we do it that way. That really absolutely is answering the right question. This has been possible because the country's official keen interest in planning and constructing multiple art schools, excellent, and institutions for citizens to participate and develop the skills, good. A recent survey uh, revealed that Germany and even Finland entered the top five ranking for the first time because of government's intervention in creating an exciting life, uh, exciting cultural life. Let's expand this. By Onboarding. Oh, no. Um, sorry. That is a horrible, new, kind of American kind of word. Definitely not academic. <laughs> Definitely not for IELTS. Um, embracing. 
embracing, investing in would be the better one. Okay, be very careful with uh, slightly uh, relaxed words um, that the examiner will hate. Therefore, governments can make it possible to bring a distinct change. Well, well done. Uh, those are just ordinary plurals, arts and crafts, no apostrophe. Good paragraph, really, really good paragraph. Very clear writing. We just add in that bit to be extra sure, but that's absolutely fine. Um, good work. On the other hand, if the government does not, so either governments or watch out your noun verb ending, do not have a budget for spending on arts and crafts, Okay, watch out for that one there. People, sorry, it should be a yellow, there we go. People may tend to live a very boring and exciting life. With no change in people's routine, uh, they may get frustrated. So you could, rather than there, you could put frustration may be a result. So you could start with a noun, frustration may be a result of, uh, of this kind of normalcy, and may end up falling and Okay, you'd have you need the people, um, the population may end up falling into potential depression. Although the government should be investing in other aspects of development to keep the country's economy rolling, the productive impact of having uh, art facilities, either an art facility or art facilities (plural) in people's lives cannot be ignored and hence it should be considered as vital whoa well done well done you i mean this is a super good essay you weren't sure what to write but for me excellent you've really done well here very interesting very clear uh, the coherence is excellent so it's easy for me to read and understand it's really good uh, from the arguments examples given just a comma there I firmly believe that government should be encouraged in investing equally, if not more, uh, toward various art forms to bring equilibrium in people's lives in terms of work and leisure. Good. Really, really nice. That's um, in terms of... Uh, in terms of... Uh, the, you could have the quality of work and leisure. You don't need it, but you could. But that's a really, really nice piece of writing. Congratulations. Super good there. Uh, so the task one, so we've got a letter of complaint. You recently bought a new computer for your flat, but did not work. You phoned the shop. Okay. Dear sir, madam, and awaiting your reply, so you're sincerely good. Watch out. Dear sir, madam, is yours faithfully. Make sure we get that right. It's the first thing the examiner will look at. Uh, so make sure that's very important, that one there. Okay. Uh, I'm writing this letter in relation to the new computer that was bought yesterday from your shop. Good. You've got a passive in there, which is rather nice. You don't have to have that, but it works. So show off. Good good thing. To my surprise, the computer already had a lot of pre-installed apps, which not only slowed the computer's booting speed, but also took forever to load some simple, um, some other simple applications like a browser. After reaching out, so... Personally, I also hate that, reaching out, but I know it is very current nowadays, so I'll let you have it. Um, it's very American. It's bad English, okay, but um, I will, I'll give it to you, but as an alternative, um, you could have just simply contacting or attempting to contact because people never answer the phone. After attempting to contact or contacting your company support staff, it took more than 10 minutes for them to even answer my call. I cautiously explained. Cautiously? Mm, why cautiously? I don't think I'd go cautiously. I love the idea of having an adverb there, but I um, clearly would be the most obvious one. Explain my problem to your staff and hope to receive a proper resolution. But after keeping me on hold, had no answer to my problem, disconnected the call. Oh, I know the feeling. I therefore request you to send someone from yourself to my, uh, definitely my house. Uh, my place, maybe that's also American, but for me, English doesn't sit very well, so I'd go to my house tomorrow at around to collect this laptop and either provide me with a new one or refund me. Um, 
in case you're planning to refund, please go. Yes, good. Um, now, this is such a formal letter and so lovely that I would put here definitely, I await your, I await your reply, which is very formal. Yeah. Um, and, but I think you kind of need that then. I think that'd be good. I await your satisfactory, maybe. I await your satisfactory reply. That means giving you what you want. What a great letter. Two really strong pieces of work here. Well done, you. Um, can you remind me when your exam is? I think it's coming up soon, isn't it? Well done.